Hi guys. I miss you guys so much. Um, I do. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal time with Mrs. Robinson. And remember next week, we're going to go back to our normal schedule. Uh, so what I'm realizing is when I kind of split my time between the group that's in online and the group um, that's at home like you guys, I'm having a hard time connecting with you and connecting with the folks that are in the classroom. So what I'm going to try to do is record when I'm kind of teaching a new concept. So I feel like this way, um, this way I could, I could kind of focus on you a little bit more, even though we can't necessarily interact um, because I can focus more on you. It should be a more, what they call engaging lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go over today's math and then send it out to you and you could watch this um, on your own time. Uh, and then we'll have this and me in person uh, and then the two of them together, hopefully gets closer to uh, the instruction level that you need. Okay, so looking at the challenge questions here, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys are going to do is you are going to just do your normal subtraction. Now that we're gonna work with decimals, uh, your normal subtraction, these skills are going to be very important, okay? Looking at B here, um, I don't wanna forget about fractions because we're going to need them later on and you're gonna have that retake next month. So here's just some more fraction practice. Remember, if it's bigger than a hole, you wanna pull out however many holes you can. And then over here, you see a fraction of 91 one thousandths. I want you to turn that into a decimal for me. Now, if Jake played video games for eight and a third hours and Tom played video games for nine and two fifths hours, how long did they play together? So remember, you have fractions or you have amounts. And then if you wanna figure out how long they played together, you gotta to figure out what operation that is. So our schedule today looks a lot like yesterday's schedule. You're gonna rock the challenge questions. We're gonna check the challenge questions. And then you're going to work on a, a decimal Google Classroom document which something in our district happened with Google Classroom. Um, so it, hopefully it works, uh, but if it doesn't, uh, just keep trying, okay? And don't try to keep your anxiety down because your teachers are gonna be pretty lenient as long as we know you're telling the truth and you can't get in. This is not gonna hurt you. Technology is something that we all kind of have to work through. All right, so if you look there's three different ways to kind of look at decimals or write an amount. I'm gonna move my camera down. There, that could be maybe a little better. All right, so there's three different ways that you are going to look at a number. One's called standard form. Um, standard form literally just means normal form. So if I showed you, um, let me see here. If I showed you a number like this, and I said, tell me what this is in, sorry, I lied. This is written in standard form, okay? So this is in standard form. If I said the number five, what is that in standard form? You would literally just write that. Standard form is normal form. What is the number five in standard form? Wow, you are so smart, right? Okay, so don't overthink these nasty vocabulary words. Standard form means normal form. Written form, okay? So. Written form is not really written form. I, re I should have written that different. It's word form, okay? So word form is written form. That's what I always tell students. So all it, it's saying is if you say the number, they'll show you this and say, what is this in word form or written form? You'd say five, but there's no audio. So you have to literally write that down, okay? So this is, Five. That is your written form. Okay. Now expanded form is the one that people kind of freak out about. They're like, oh my gosh, they're asking for expanded form. Don't overthink it. What is it five of? It's five holes. So what you do for expanded form is you would say, okay, it's five holes. So it's five holes means it's five times whole which is one. So five times one is a whole. If the number was something like 52, then you have a five in the tens place. So it's five times 10, and then you have a two in the ones place. So you'd put plus two times one. And you don't really do this math. You just know there's five tens and there's two ones. So it's 52, 
Okay, that one's the one that we're going to have to kind of practice the most on, and then you'll kind of get it. And there's two different ways to write standard form. So that was the first way, literally break it up by what they're each worth, and then just kind of break it up like we have five tens, and we have two ones, so you would just put a plus between them. You're breaking, you're literally breaking up saying what each symbol or each uh, digit is worth. So let's see if, if we did it the other way. A lot of people like the other way better. You would say the 52, you have 50 and you have two. This is a different way to do, to do uh, expanded form, okay? 50 plus two, you have 50, you have two. So that is also a way to do 52 in expanded form. Now today, we're obviously going to work with decimals because this is big kid math, right? Um, so we're gonna use those ideas with decimals. So I'm literally going to go through the questions that you were supposed to do in your book. Okay, so um, let's see here. We have page 50. So if you go to page 50, I'm gonna work with you on these, these few questions, okay? Um, and I'm gonna drink my coffee during it because it's still early. Okay. Let's get started. On page 50, number one says, Here's the standard form. Um, sorry, no, it doesn't. It says here's the word form for 854. Why did I put four there? I don't know, that's confusing. Um, I should have just put 854, okay? So ignore that. Let me, let me help you ignore it. Ignore the word four. Okay, so we have 854. All right, so, oh my gosh, turn this into standard form, okay. I can. That means I write it, and this is not on page 50 yet. These are my examples. So here's number, here's normal form, 854. Standard form's normal form. That's not hard. What if we have to go and show you word form? Okay, so we have 854, word form. Where, oh, I say 854, word form. Mr. Stahl, what about spelling? Does that matter? Not to me. It doesn't matter to me in math. Right now, if you try your hardest, don't get all bent out of shape because you're like, I don't remember how to spell that. Just write it to the best of your ability. 854, okay? Word form, write it uh, in word form. Remember on your test, it's gonna be multiple choice. So you're not gonna have to worry about spelling. Expanded form, this is where people wanna cry a little bit. Eight, five, four. Eight is 100, five is 50, and then four is one, four ones. So this is what it looks like. 800 plus 50 plus four. But Mr. Stahl, what if they ask you to do that other kind of expanded form? They call it expanded place value form, I think they call it, or decimal form or something like that. This is all you have to do. The eight is worth 800, so it's eight times 100. The five is worth 510, so it's five tens, five times 10. And the four is worth four one, so it's four times one. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Um, so that's it. So now, page 50, let's go to number one. So here's number one. They give us 12,402. They give it to us in standard form, right? So we're going to turn it into word form, expanded form, and we're just going to turn it into both expanded forms. But I don't remember which one's which. It's okay. It's okay. Just ex So we'll go through which one's which, all right? Word form. Twelve. So the way that you say a number is you say the number you see on the left. So this is a 12, so you say 12, okay, 12. And then you say this little name right here, this is called the thousand, so you call it 12,000. And then you see, and then you just read them between the marks. So you see a 12 first, so you call it 12. The mark is called the thousand mark. And then you have 402, and that's it, 12,402. Bada bing, bada boom. If there was a decimal, the decimal's name is and. So it's a 12,402 and, and then whatever the decimal is. So let's do that in expanded form. Okay, we have one is worth 10,000, the two is worth 2,000. So 10, so literally you just say what each digit or symbol is worth. One, 10,000, 2,000, 400. There's nothing here, so we kind of just ignore it. It's nothing. And then two and that's it for expanded form okay let's try it with that other weird way the one 
is worth 10,000. So you literally do one times 10,000. The two is worth 2,000. So you do two times 1,000. The four is worth, worth 400. So we do four times 100. And then the, nothing's, nothing's in the 10th place. And the two is worth two ones. So we just do two times one. Bada bing, bada boom, right? Okay, let us move on, shall we? Let's go to number two. And Mr. Stahl, do we have to write this down? Yes. You can pause me. That's kind of nice too, this whole recorded thing. You can just, you didn't really pause me. That was me. Uh, you can just pause me and then just write it down. Fill this page. I might ask you for it. I might not. It's good practice. Fill it up. I might put on Dojo. They should have filled out page blah, blah, 50. So just fill it out. It's good practice. When you write it, your brain remembers it better. Let's go to number two. Eight, we're going to turn it into a standard form. I always tell students, ooh, it's broken up into two parts, like two parts of a movie. Like, um, I don't know what it is, two movies. Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. Man, I am so a dad of young kids. The first movie I could think of that had a sequel. It's ridiculous. Okay, so the first movie was just eight. That's great. I'm going to pause and just put eight. And then and is point. So eight point. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Eight point. That's easy. Now I'll do. Now I'll watch Frozen 2, which no one thinks is as good as Frozen 1. It's too complicated, just like this one. 305 thousandths. Okay, so I know when you name a decimal, it has to end in that place value. So 305 thousandths, it's got to end in a thousandths place. 305 thousandths, boom, just like that. Now expand it for them, that nasty one. Well, the eight is worth eight one, so it's just worth eight uh, or eight times one. See, now I flip-flopped it. So if that's eight times one, I'm going to add three times one-tenth because the three is worth only tenths. So plus three times one tenth. You could turn one tenth into a fraction or you could say three times point one or the same thing. And then I'm gonna add nothing for the zero and then five, what is that five worth? Oh, it's worth thousands. So plus five times one over a thousand. Mr. Stahl, you forgot to put those fancy little, yes, I actually did forget those. I sh you should put these. Um, do I have to? I mean, yeah, you're supposed to put them. Make sure you put these, okay? And then what about expanded form place value? Like I said, I think I flip-flopped these, but it, it's okay. You're only going to be asked one way to, you, as long as you understand these ways, don't worry about the fancy vocabulary word. Um, just ex, it, just understand there's two different ways to make expanded form. All right, so here's the, the, the next way to make expanded form. Um, the eight is, the eight is worth eight. And then the one is worth one tenth and the five is worth five thousandths. So eight plus one tenth plus five thousandths, bada bing, bada boom, done. Let's go to number three. You have 70 plus two plus four tenths plus three hundredths. Standard form. Okay, once again, frozen one and frozen two. Uh, the, on the left, you get 72, right? And then you have a dot. Then you have four tenths and three hundredths. Oh. So that's just a four and then a three. Bada bing, bada boom. What about word form? Okay, well, I'm gonna use standard form and I say it out loud is, you have frozen one and frozen two. 72, the dot is and, 43, and then you say the name. The name is in the hundredths place because remember, if you put one, zero, zero, zero to cheat, this looks like a 10, so it's the tenths place. This looks like a hundred, so it's the hundreds place. And this looks like a thousand, so it's the thousands place. Word form, 72 and 43 hundredths. 72 and 43 hundredths, okay? And then expanded form, place failure, we're gonna use the other expanded form, the one that's not as much fun. So the seven is worth seven ten, so it's seven times 10. The two is worth two ones, so it's two times one. The four is worth four tenths, so it's four times a tenth. And then the three is worth 300, so it's three times a hundredths, or 0 0.01. Now that time I used decimal. You don't have to use decimal. A lot of people like using fractions more because your brain's already getting used to fractions because we did such a good job with unit one. And then last but not least, number four. So four times 10,000. Okay, so that's 40 thousandths. Okay, I'm gonna put a, a, a 
a comma there because I know that's 40. 2 times 1,000. So the 2's and the 1,000's place. There's nothing in the 100's place because we're jumping right to 10's place. And then there's a 3 in the 10's place and a 5 in the 1's place. And then after a whole number, Mr. Dot comes and says, all my whole numbers on this side, all my decimals on this side, or all my fractions of a number, or all my not yet a whole numbers on that side. Okay? And then... Okay, I am recording. Shoot. Uh, and you have two tenths. You have nothing in the hundredths place. Tricky. And then you have one in the thousandths place. So 42,035 and 201 thousandths. Tricky. 42,035 and 202. Yes, Mr. Stahl, you messed up on the first. That's not a one. It's a two. Good thing that I did this yesterday like this when I was in a better place, um, a better frame of mind, I guess. Wasn't as sleepy tired. So, uh, clear. I can't clear. That's okay. I will figure it out. Clear like this. Clear. Okay, 42,035 and 202,000. See how easy it is to make a mistake? Um, so that's why I always kind of double check your work. Word form, what is it? 42,000, 42,000, 42,035, and, because that's the name of this dot, and 202, and then I got to give it this name, thousands place. Perfect. And then expanded form, the four is 40,000. The two is 2,000. There's nothing in the hundreds place, so I can ignore that. The three is 30, and the five is just five. And then you got that dot. So now we are jumping into decimals. The two is worth two tenths, and the other two is worth two thousandths. Okay? And that's it. Now, Mr. Stahl, I, I'm confused. Okay? But are you less confused than you were? You, do you get it a little bit more? That answer, I hope, is yes. Okay, um, I have a very quick Google Doc for you to do, uh, and then be ready for um, our GIM kit. Okay, and and if right now it's GIM kit time, then then don't worry about the Google Doc. Do it later. Okay, it's very short. You'll get it done this school day. It shouldn't be homework. All right, it's so nice talking to you guys again. Even though I don't see you, uh, we'll be back to normal in 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 a little bit. Our our new normal. All right, uh, good luck, and please email me if you have any questions or ask Mrs. Robinson because she's happy to work with you guys.